Hey everyone, I'm Dan Spada, and in today's video, I'm going to show you all of the updates that were announced for Google Docs this summer and what you can expect for this upcoming school year. Just this past month, Google announced that going forward, when you create links to shared Microsoft Office files that you have in your drive, they'll open directly in Docs, Sheets, or Slides. So if you have a Microsoft Office document, once you upload it into your Google Drive, when you share that with somebody, it will automatically open in Google Docs. This is an update that will be available to everybody and should already have started. If it hasn't, uh, it should be available in your district very soon. An update that I am very excited about is you can now create and import documents that contain images above or behind text in Google Docs. Previously, when you tried to do this, the formatting would get a little bit funky, but you can now position an image that's either in front or behind text. I know in the past when I tried to import something from uh, Microsoft Word into Google Docs, the formatting would get all messed up and it'd be very hard to work with that and you just couldn't really get the text on top of an image uh, without having to go into draw and other different things. But now you'll be able to do it very easily. As you see, there will be a, a new option under text wrapping. You'll see it says behind text. So you can put the image right behind the text and it creates that really nice look that will give you professional headers or you could put you know like pictures throughout with text over them just a lot of different options and it's just a really big step i think in terms of google docs uh, allowing people to create work that looks really professional at the end of the last school year google announced a really big update regarding something they call smart canvas and this included the insertion of smart chips for files and meetings, which allow you to create checklists and a whole bunch of other things in Google Docs. I did cover this in another video, so I won't go into it in detail in this video. Uh, but if you haven't checked it out, please take a minute and watch that video. There is a link in the description below, and I'll put one up on the screen right now. I highly recommend checking that out because there is a lot of information about how you can, uh, like, tag people in Google Docs, how you can create those checklists, how you can insert links more easily with like intelligent suggestions in the insert link dialog. There's also more table templates in Docs. Uh, there's meeting note templates. There's pageless formatting in Docs. So uh, when you have a moment, I highly recommend checking that out uh, because those are available and active right now. So uh, it's worth going back to watch that video as well. I know from talking with a lot of teachers and uh, delivering professional development, people often mention Google Docs as kind of like the poor man's version of Microsoft Word, uh, kind of a watered down version, doesn't have all the features, uh, is great because it's convenient, but isn't quite at that level that Microsoft Word is. But I feel like with a lot of these updates that Docs keeps getting, uh, some of the ones I talked about in this video, the ones I mentioned that I have in that previous video, uh, Docs is catching up pretty quickly and is covering a lot of ground. And I'm actually quite pleased with the quality of work that you're now able to do in Docs. Uh, so I'm, I'm really looking forward to these new updates to seeing what else we'll get to see this school year. Uh, if you're excited about this, please let me know what you're most excited about in the comments below. And if you know of any teachers that might be excited about these Google Docs updates, please feel free to share this video with them. And again, make sure to check out the description below where there are links to other videos. And if you haven't already, please take a minute, click on the subscribe button and click on the notification bell so that you get notified every time there's a new video. And if you haven't followed me yet on Twitter, please take a second and follow me at Dan Spada and on Facebook at facebook.com slash the EdTech Show. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.